So today we're going to do this problem it's called paint job estimator, and you're going to write it using methods. If you don't get to understanding methods here in chapter five, when we get to chapter six, which is actually after chapter nine, you're going to be blown away. So make sure you really put some extra time in to understand what's going on. But we're going to take a look at number four and I'm going to set it up and I'm going to help you come up with the main so that when I put you in breakout rooms, all you have to do is write the methods for it. Okay, and maybe some syntax tweaking. But let's take a look. A painting company has determined that for every 115 square feet of wall space, a gallon of paint and eight hours of labor. So I'm gonna start making notes because I have to write stuff down. I can't, I'm not as good as you folks. And I'm taking a look at 115 feet of wall space, 115 feet squared wall space. Spelling's not my high. Um, let's see, one gallon of paint. So that's gonna equal one gallon of paint to do it. And that's gonna equal eight hours of labor. So I'm starting to create something like pseudocode. Took the problem, just starting to make notes. Took a paragraph and I'm reducing it down to what I need. The company charges $18 per hour for labor. Uh, $18 per hour for labor. Okay. Um, write a program that allows the user to enter the number of rooms to be painted and the price of the paint per gallon. It should also ask for the square feet of wall space in each room. So I'm gonna be asking number of rooms. Then I wanna find the wall space for each room. Make sure I didn't miss anything. 115 feet of wall space, one gallon of paint and $18 an hour, eight hours of labor, good. Write a program that allows the user to enter the number of rooms to be painted the price of paint. Then once I know how many rooms, it should ask for the square feet in each room. So I think I have a bunch of notes here that I'm ready to go with. Okay. Um, one thing I do have to ask is, it should also ask for square feet. So I ask the number of rooms, um, wall space for each room. And what was the one other thing that I was missing? Ask price of paint. Almost sounds like a little, uh, a lot to start, but we're gonna break this down with methods and see what we can do about making it easier. So uh, I, go ahead. Question. Um, so is in, in the word problem, uh, if they had, for example, 116 square feet of wall space, yep, that would require two gallons of, of paint to be purchased. Would that take 16 hours of labor? Yep. Okay. Yep, that's the way we're gonna roll. So I need methods to find out the number of gallons of paint required, the hours of labor required, the cost of the paint, labor charges, the total cost of the paint. So we have those ideas and see what we can do to get help. So things that I know for facts are up above. Agreed? Those are the facts. So I need to find out the price of paint I need to find out the number of rooms so that I can go through each room and get the wall space. So let's start with this first one. I need to ask for the price of paint. So I'm gonna need a method here and I'm gonna have to return a value, which will be price. So I'm gonna start out with price of paint. Um, I'm not even gonna use that for a variable. Give me a variable for price of paint. Go ahead. Something easy, short. I don't want to write out all of price of paint. Paint gal. Um, how about paint cost? There we go. Yeah. Well, would that be confusing for the 
the the cost of the of the labor like is it asking for the price of the the gallon of paint yep this is going to ask right here ask the price of paint okay so let's do paint price how's that now i'm going to have to call a method because when i call a method this is going to be a value returning method remember we talked about two types of methods avoid which doesn't return anything, and a value returning method that's going to return something. So how about we put get paint price. Now, for this method, will I have to send anything over to that no. method? No. no. Okay. Um, the next Can I ask thing a question quick? Yeah. Sir? So in front of paint price, do you have to... Um... No, don't you have to do say that. that it's a double. No, mm -hmm. I, I did that and I shouldn't have. I would rather everybody declare all the variables up top. I need to go okay. back and change that program because I don't like that format. So declare uh, everything and then write it out like that. Okay. Yeah. All that, right. That was bad on my part and I will change it. Okay. Paint price. Get the paint price. Um, next thing I need is this total square footage. So I'm going to call pro, uh, a function get, hey, I might as well stay with the same thing so I don't get confused. Get square foot. Now, what am I doing in square footage? I'm going to ask how many rooms are there? And then I'm going to have a loop to ask the user to keep telling me how many total square feet there are. So this square footage is gonna be for all the rooms. So there's gonna be a little bit of work in this block of code. Okay. All right, so now I know my square footage. And if I know my square footage, I'm now gonna be able to figure out how many gallons, num gallons. And I'm gonna call a method called calc num gal, but in order to find out the number of gallons, what do I need to know? The uh, square footage. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to make that what's called an argument that'll go down to my parameter list. So the way I think about it is like, that method is dependent upon the previous value we got in square footage and that's what you put in as the argument. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Okay. So now I need, uh, I'm going to have a value for num gallons. Now I'm going to need um, something like hours labor. And I might call this uh, something like calc labor. Now you see how I'm doing all this ahead of time. And when I get ready to type the program, I'll have thought all this out and I'm not confusing thinking with typing need to separate those two. In order to calculate the labor, again, I need square footage. All right, so at this point, I have one more value returning method, total cost, and I'm gonna call this calc tot cost. And what do I need to know to find out my cost. Well, I have the, what do I need to, to find out my total cost? I need the price of paint. The la labor. So I or... need paint price. I'm going to have to pass that in. What else am I going to have to come? Well, if I know the paint cost, I need to know the number of gallons. And the other part is hours labor. So here I have three arguments that are gonna be passed in. So when I write this method called count total cost, it's gonna look something like public, static. Let's see, I'm returning a double. It's gonna be called calc tot cost. And then I'm gonna need a double for paint price. I'm gonna need a double 
for number of gallons. And I'm going to need a double. Well, I can't spell. Double for hours of labor. You notice how I really abbreviated those. Paint cost is a double. It's going to this double. Number of gallons is a double. It's going here. Hours of labor. So this is my parameter list. These are my arguments. Okay, after I do all that, I think I need one more method. This is a display method. Do you notice how I don't have this one being set equal to something? Sorry about the crookedness. Here I had a value coming back, a value coming back, a value coming back, a value coming on and on. Display, I don't need that. Display, I need to print out what? Uh, the total cost for one, definitely. Right. Normally, I would say I would want you to print out everything, but in hopes of getting this done today, we're going to do display total cost. Let's see. Um, num gallons and hours labor, right? Hours of labor. That would help me to plan. You know, I need to know how much paint to buy and figure out how many hours it's going to take. Okay, so again, that would be up here. That would be my parameter. Here are my methods. This is my main program. After I type all this up, then I start typing all of my methods. So on assignment 5.1, I basically gave you all of this. Now I need you to type the methods, which is what you're going to do today. You want us to use um, dialog boxes? Yeah. User? Yeah, okay. let's make this program look really nice. All right, questions?